Hello and welcome to my Day in the Life Japan video. Here's a little summary of a typical day working on Top Hat in Tokyo. So I set my alarm for about 5 past 9 to get up to go to breakfast as we're staying in a hotel so I need to make sure I don't miss it. Quick shower and then skincare. First I like to spritz my face with my quarterly growth spray, use my Kiehl's Clear Corrective Eye Cream which is brilliant for dark circles and then I use my um, Eucerin Dermo Purifier Face Cream which is brilliant for a combination skin and brilliant for all over the face. Then I use my Suku Face Protect which is an SPF 50 which I bought in Japan as it's a Japanese brand and it's a really really great high protective SPF. Followed by a little bit of my Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream which I just put on basically to stop my um, scary morning face, uh, scaring people at breakfast. It just gives me a nice little bit of colour and uh, makes me look alive before I put on my stage makeup. So that's me done. Then it's time to get dressed and head out. Then I'm going to leave my hotel room and go into the lift because I'm on the seventh floor here and down to breakfast. So breakfast is next door from the hotel in a little diner style restaurant called Jonathan's. So in I go and you can normally find there's someone from Top Hat there to join. So, hello. So this is breakfast Japanese style. In fact, this is Western breakfast Japanese style. So you get kind of like scrambled egg, teeny tiny sausage, a couple of hash browns, and some quite questionable fizzy salad. <laughs> On a massive slab of toast! <laughs> it's huge! <laughs> but, you know. Needs <laughs> must. Yeah. must. So, after my brekkie, I'll pop to Family Mart, which is a little convenience store which is all over Tokyo, and there's one conveniently right next to the hotel. And I will always pick up my staple banana and um, fruit and a yogurt, which also had fruit in it as well. I kind of was craving fruit all the time and vegetables. As they're not as available as you would imagine in Japan compared to what, how much vegetables and fruit we eat here in the UK. So then I'm on my way to the theatre and just taking in Tokyo and all the shops. Some octopus balls, which I've never tried, but they're a bit gross. So vending machines are really big in Japan and you can actually get hot drinks from them in the can, which is pretty cool. So this is one of the crossings in Shibuya in Tokyo, which is a bit mental, but I just thought I'd show you what that's like. And this is the Hikari Tower, which is where the theatre is, and it's where that section that sticks out is on the 13th floor, which is amazing. And underneath the theatre in the tower is this beautiful department store, and it's absolutely stunning, and I loved going through it every day. Obviously, there was an incredible beauty section. This is one of two in the whole store. This one was more like an apothecary, and had more organic and natural brands, and then there was another one with more high-end makeup cosmetics. And it was such a joy going through this every day. So there in the corners, Neil's Yard, some more familiar ones, Aveda. And also, um, it was Halloween season, or coming up to Halloween, so there were so many things that were Halloween themed. Put a bow on it, so today will be a better day, is like a mantra for all Japanese women. Everyone wears bows, and I just loved it. So before I go into the theatre, I'm going to pick up some food to get me through the first show. And you can get food from any kind of cuisine in this beautiful food hall. French, Italian, British, Japanese obviously, Indian, all sorts. And they had these incredible desserts as well. So I'm just going to pick up a coffee before I go in and then I'm gonna to head to stage door and up in the lift again to get to the 13th floor where I can get to the dressing rooms and also the theater. So here we are on the 13th floor and the Tokyo Theater Orb, which is the theater that we were performing top hat in Tokyo. So first to sign in and then to head to the dressing rooms. Every day this gets me filled Fresh coffee, hot water, sweeties, which are very exciting. Complicated bin situation. And to the girls' dressing room. So in into the girls' dressing room, we're all together, all the girls' ensemble, everyone's doing their hair and makeup, and this is my place, Japanese style. Hello Kitty towel. So first I'm going to apply my Smashbox primer to my face before I apply my foundation. It's got a nice smoothing silicone type effect which is really great for a long lasting finish with your foundation. 
So I either use my L'Oreal Infallible foundation or I'm going to use the one I'm using today which is the Makeup Forever HD foundation which I really really love and it's been a favourite for quite a while now and it's brilliant for day and it's really great for stage too. So I'm just going to apply that on in thin layers sort of one or two pumps at a time. Then after that I'm going to use my L'Oreal concealer which again I'm really really liking as it's got a lovely brightening effect. So I'm just going to use that for sort of any concealing that I need to brighten or sort of anti-redness. So then I'm going to apply my Benefit Air Patrol Eye Primer which I'm going to blob on and then smooth out with my finger. It's got a nice yellowy colour which again helps neutralise any redness on my eyelids and again smooths out the lid to then apply makeup on top of or eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the Grain Satin Eyeshadow from MAC. I'm going to use my NARS eyeshadow brush to apply that just for a base and it's got a nice sort of fleshy but slightly sheeny colour to it so I just really like using this. I wear it a lot day and for stage as well. Then into the crease I'm going to use a matte shade which is called Expresso. I'm going to use a more fluffy brush for this again from MAC and I'm going to work that into the crease and a bit over the top and again go a little bit heavier than I would for day because this is for stage. Then I'm going to brush in my eyebrows and apply my Bobbi Brown Saddle Eyeshadow with an angled brush again from MAC. This is again more defined, a little bit heavier to make sure that my eyebrows look really strong for stage. Then I'm going to use some of my MAC Vanilla Pigment underneath my brows. A lot of these products I use really regularly. They're real um, sort of holy grail products that I've been using for a long time. Next to seal my foundation and concealer, I'm going to use a buffing brush from Real Techniques and a Bare Minerals Loose Foundation Powder. Then I'm going back to eyebrows and using my Maybelline Brow Drama Mascara in dark brown, brushing them through again with my spoolie brush. Then on to eyelashes and I'm using my brand new Shiseido eyelash curler which again I bought in Japan which I was very excited about, hence the face. And I absolutely love it, I think it makes a real difference. Then I'm going to use my Prep and Prime Mascara, Holly's just realised she's on camera. And then that really helps to thicken and lengthen my lashes before I apply my Max Factor Clump Defy Mascara which is obviously in black. So you're just going to apply that and it really really makes a difference having used the eyelash curler to give that really great lift and shape. Then to give a bit more definition to my face, I'm using my MAC Mineralize Powder in the shade Medium Dark with a fluffy powder brush from Poppy Brown. Again, I'm going to use that under my cheeks and then I'm going to use my Coralista Blusher which is from Benefit with a fan brush. I think this is a really, really pretty colour and looks really nice for stage. Then I'm going to use my Glam Eyes Rimmel Eyeliner, liquid eyeliner again in black and a really quite long dramatic flick as well again for stage being a little bit more dramatic. Then it's down to warm up to do some physical and then a vocal warm up. So we always do lots of cardio and then stretches and warming up every part of the body from the top of the head down to our ankles which obviously are very heavily used in all the tap routines etc. So yeah you can kind of do a lot of your own things and stretch out you know parts of your body that are a bit tight or injured. So this is the Tokyo Theatre Orb Auditorium which seats just under 2,000 audience members and was always packed when we were doing Top Hat in Tokyo and a really, really gorgeous theatre. So then I'm back to the change room and indulging in some serious pineapple. I absolutely love pineapple. It's one of the only fruits I could really get hold of and luckily I love it. So I just add a little bit more blush. I'm going to do my pin curls which is where you do little twists, little buns on each section of your hair to then flatten it down as much as possible with two grips. I'm going to do that all the way around until I've tucked all my hair away, put a wig cap on, tuck any loose hairs and then pin on top my mic which is going to be going underneath my wig. Just thought I'd sing to you what I was doing but I am off to the wig room and it's just down the corridor and down a few stairs to get to the wig department which is underneath our dressing room level. So then I'm going to head to my gorgeous Vanessa to pin on my little Ritz pin curls which are just going to pop out underneath a hat which you'll see later which is why I don't have a proper wig on and she's gorgeous. Then it's time to go put on some red lippy and get ready for the first number of the show which is Ritz. So it's time to pop on my dressing gown and then head up to the stage. So I'm just going to work my way around backstage, the star cloth looks really pretty 
and then go to my space which is in the quick change area backstage. Everyone else is getting ready for the first number of the show and our lovely Japanese dresses are there to help us. So I'm now securing my hat to my head so it doesn't fall off during the number and then I'm getting ready into my costume for Ritz and the opening of the show. So I thought I'd include some backstage shots just to show you what it's like busy and manic behind the scenes when it, all the action really happens. So at this point we're on the interval and I'm going to get my wig put on. This wig actually is going on now for the second time in the show but now it's going to stay on for the rest of the show. All the wigs get put on by the specially trained wig department ladies or wiggies as we call them. So when the wig is on straight it's secured in place with lots and lots of pins long ones that sort of are more so like anchor points and then little fine ones which help keep the shape and style of the wig in place throughout all the dancing in the show. This is quite a long process for my wig because I do lots of turns in the show. This is my costume for the beginning of Act 2 which is the Piccolino. I perform a speciality dance act with my dance partner Martin. This is my evening Venice outfit which is very glamorous. And now it's the end of the show so it's time to take out all those pin curls Hopefully, with any luck, they'll come out nice and curly so that I won't have to do much with my hair. Sort it out and I can just run a brush through it and take my red lipstick off so that I can feel a little less glamorous. Which I'll just generally do with a wipe just for convenience. Then once I've done that, I'm going to touch up my foundation where I've taken it off a little bit with the wipe. Then I'll just get dressed have a quick brush of my hair again and then head out for the evening as this was a matinee show so we have lots of free time in the evening it's so lovely to come out stage door and see such orderly fans who are so sweet and had all their pens and programs at the ready for us all to sign and have pictures with such lovely audiences we love everyone in japan then it's time to head back to the hotel so that you can dump your bags off and then head out for dinner which I'm going to do this evening. So this is what it's like traveling back sort of five o'clock rush hour time I guess in Japan in Tokyo. So now we're out in Daikinyama which is a nearby district and tonight we're actually going to go to a Mexican restaurant. My humble <laughs> yeah, let's get my video camera. <laughs> Everyone wave! Just smile and wave. Absolutely amazing at that restaurant and the flaming fajitas were just hilarious. So now I'm back home in my room and it's time to chill out and get ready for bed. All Japanese hotels provide kimono style dressing gowns which I absolutely love. First I'm going to take off my eye makeup with my bioderma and my Muji cotton pads which are just brilliant because each one divides into four pieces as I just showed you and you can really get a lot out of them. Then I'm going to use my Emma Hardy Amazing Balm cleanser which I decanted into a small pot and brought with me to Japan because the big pot's just just too big to put in a suitcase. So that just absolutely melts beautifully into the face and you can get it right into your eyelashes and into that eye makeup that's difficult to get off. And then once you've done that you can then rinse out a nice hot cloth which comes with the balm when you buy it and they're really really lovely face gloss and then you can just gently take it off Make sure you get everything off your face, rinse out, repeat again, and then the opposite side of the cloth is a little bit more exfoliating, so that's great for getting in around your nose and T-zone, etc. Next, I'm going to use my Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask, which is a brilliant face mask for using when you're sleeping in air-conditioned hotel rooms, as it really helps lock in all the moisture. Then on my lips, I'm going to use my Virgin Coconut Oil Lip Serum from Dr. Organic, which is super hydrating and moisturizing, and then it's time to go to sleep. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Dressing Room Dyes to keep up to date with all my latest videos and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching!